We're following breaking news in Port Natchez tonight where there's been an officer involved shooting. So far, we can confirm three people have been shot. Two of those persons are now dead. 12 News anchor Jordan Williams is live in Port Natchez tonight. Jordan, what can you tell us so far? Hey, Brenda, we just pulled up at the scene of this officer involved shooting. We are inside the Lloyd's RV park in Port Natchez, and I'm joined right now by Chief uh, Paul Lemoyne from the Port Natchez Police Department. Chief, uh, this is all unfolding behind us. Fill us in. What do you know at this point? Yes, so basically about 830 uh, p.m. this evening, our officers responded to a shots fired call here at one of the trailers, and uh, upon one of the officers arrival, uh, he, he was actually shot at by the suspect. And uh, was the suspect inside an RV? He was, he was inside a trailer. He stepped out as the officer was uh, getting out of his, uh, his vehicle to check on a victim that he saw on the ground. And then, uh, uh, then the suspect retreated back to the trailer. And uh, the officers didn't know it at the time, but he had already killed a female inside of the trailer. And then uh, he came back out and uh, displayed a weapon again. I don't know if he shot again or not at this particular point. Uh, but they were forced to have to return fire, and uh, he's deceased at this time. So again, to recap, we had a man allegedly kill a woman inside the trailer, yep. come out and threaten the officers. Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay. Um, and I know we can show folks the scene as, as we're out here tonight. Uh, to fill us in, the next step in this investigation, you guys have already called in the Texas Rangers? Yes, sir, they are here on the scene. Uh, we have uh, uh, crime scene personnel from uh, Port Arthur uh, Police Department right now. And uh, so they'll be doing a parallel investigation with our homicide investigation. And of course, we have the officer involved shooting that the Rangers will be handling. Chief, and we have to talk briefly. Uh, you and I visited after the unfortunate officer involved yes. shooting that your department had right after the, the 4th of July, early July. July 5th. You guys hadn't had one in 30 plus years in Port Natchez and now two in a matter of months. That's correct. Your, your officers, what are you thinking for them tonight? Well, you know, I, I hate it for the officers, of course, having to uh, uh, go through those situations because uh, watching the officers go through the, uh, the original shooting, there was two officers involved. And uh, even though they're back, back at work, they've been through, you know, all the debriefing and uh, therapy and all that, uh, you know, that's not something that any officer ever looks forward to doing. And, uh, and, and they hope to make a full career without ever, ever having a drawler weapon. And now we have a third officer involved. And, uh, you know, the only good thing I can say about that part of it is he, he does have uh, a network of some officers that's been through it, been through the, uh, uh, the different emotions that's involved with that. And so hopefully it will, will help him, uh, you know, recover from this. Chief, we thank you for visiting with us tonight. We'll talk more under about the circumstances in a bit. Uh, and Brenda, as I send it back to you live from Port Nage tonight, we do want to let you know, I know we didn't talk about it during this interview, the chief just told me off camera, they believe this is um, a domestic situation of some sort. So again, two dead, a third person injured following this officer involved shooting at Lloyd's RV Park. We're on Twin City Highway, uh, just behind the Pompano Club. A lot of people know this area in Port Natchez. We're gonna continue to stay out here and gather more information. Of course, our daybreak team will have the latest starting at 4.30 in the morning. We're live tonight in Port Natchez, Jordan Williams, 12 News. All right, thanks so much, Jordan. And we'll update you guys on 12newsnow.com as well. Ashley.